And so there are, you know, you can do them back. You can do the, the frog thing back to back to back. Spring day 18. Good humor. A little extra luck. Honey. Beautiful and sunny. Pam's birthday. Oh, everything's aligning. Okay, so bring Pam. What did Pam want again? Evelyn gives me the rice pudding because I'm a sweetheart. We go for, where is it? We go for, oh, melon. But we don't have melon. Oh, we need to make melon seeds. Okay. Make melon seeds. We don't have garlic. I need to buy garlic, I think. Buy garlic. And then wheat. Pam loves parsnip, Laj. She does. But she loves a cactus fruit too. And because we have... She loves cactus fruit. And it's easy for us to have iridium cactus fruit. Because we have the forage that everything we pick up is is uh, iridium quality. So she loves... So you can start romancing Pam early game because parsnip is, is cheap and accessible. But I don't think I have iridium parsnip. I don't expect to have iridium parsnip. So, But I have iridium cactus fruit though. But thank you, Laj. Let's grab these flowers. Anything that is not... I mean, we could just keep them, I guess. Oh, this, these are ready. Okay. Okay. We need to we need to go plant. I think our parsnips are here, Laj. No, they're not. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, just keep some respect. No, let's just ah. Uh, Ah, uh, no, just, just keep the flowers for now, I guess. Okay, we need wheat and garlic. Do they sell that in the spring? Wheat and garlic. We're gonna have to find out. So we bring the... Oh, melon needs to go to the seed maker. We need to plant it. So plant the melon. Melon goes here. The melon comes out. We can wait. It's like 10 minutes. It's like 10 minutes to get the melon seed, so it's not a big deal. We can, we can definitely wait here. Uh, hey, how, how you doing, SG? Good to see you, man. It's going great. We're, we've just made it to Ginger Island. We're installing ourselves on Ginger Island, getting the walnuts. Uh, we are also getting the Junimos. We got a tractor, man. The tractor mod is so convenient for mass harvest. You'd it, I'll, Next time we have a harvest, I'll be more than happy to show you. It's really, really smooth. Super nice. How was, uh, how was your week, buddy? I'm guessing you're on, you're on the weekend right now? We're just, yeah, we're just conveniently chilling and, you know, enjoying the game. And we're starting to have a nice glimpse of the DLC as well, as you. We're starting to see uh, more characters, more development. Uh, because the farm is, is stronger and well, well installed right now, we uh, also have the ability to explore a little bit more. We've almost built everything we wanted to build. Everything is... We just need to finish uh, automating stuff with wood and, and bars and everything. And then we're going to be all good. Look at all this thing. Look. Oh, Junimos. There you go. This is the Junimo life. Ancient seeds and Junimos. There you go. Oh, and we also need to make... Oh, we had the... Olivia wanted some star fruit wine. Maybe we can even afford to get the Junimos and make the wine as well. I wonder if we get a Junimo hut nearby, if they, if they can go inside and plant. Eventually this will all be ancient fruit, but for now it's a, it's a little bit of, of a mix. How many do we have? It's every Junimo hut costs nine, I think, right? Nine gets you, so we got, oh, we got a lot. Okay, we got, we got plenty. We can, we can have like, I think if we have three Junimo huts, we should be, we should be good. Maybe. Hopefully we're, we're good enough. Let's bring him. Bring the action. Let's go. Rare gems are not popping off as much as we wanted, though. Have you seen a ton of new content from the expanded mod? Not not a ton. So this is new. 
Uh, this map is new. There's new characters. We're they're start. They have been hinting a lot to the new zone. Uh, there's actually a lot. There's a decent amount of new stuff to be honest. There's a decent amount, uh, but most mostly it's improvements. So for instance, the secret forest is just it's bigger, and there's uh there's some weird stuff in it that you've never seen. So we now we're, we're the game is is going to slowly open to the new content actually. So we're but we have. They were inviting us to new content, and we but we were taking our time and just exploring the classic game. And, uh, you know, not... We weren't really... We wanted to establish a strong base before focusing on the, on the new content so that we had, like, all the upgrades, everything was smooth. We wanted to just have a good, a good strong farm and then go towards uh, the rest. So we're, that's what we're doing right now. And uh, it's, it's going well. It's going really well. I'm, I'm really happy with that choice. I think... Uh, I think we, uh, I, this is, we're within a year of the game, we're pretty much at the point where we want to be, and so from now on, it'll be a lot of, uh, expansion stuff. She just wants 10 wines. 11 days, we definitely have time for that. We gotta remove the cranberry, we gotta bring new kegs and put them in, though. Yeah, yeah, that's what we gotta do. So, what are kegs of... Copper, iron bar. Copper and iron bar. Copper, iron. We need more iron. 10 more, that's like 50? Okay, that's gonna take- and then I- Yeah, like, uh, 10? Yeah, we're pretty- Our goal was to have a ton of resources So that any- any- we always, you know, same like the last game. So as soon as we want something, we can have it. Now we're going to do, we're going to build three Junimo huts. That's 28. So we need to keep 28. We can keep these guys. Um, we need 10 wines. So we can actually put a decent amount and make a decent amount of seeds here. This is for Junimos. 918. Oh, 27 actually. 27. Uh, we can send one here. Uh, we need to keep 10 for wine. We can actually make more than that. We can actually make more than 10 for wine. So we're going to let these guys here sit. Uh, we're looking to buy some... Putting these here as well. These guys here as well. Uh, oh, that's too much though. No, that's too much. Um, cranberries here are fine. Unmilled rice. So these are going to become seed again. This is going to be our triple Junimo huts. This is going to be... Um, what was the 14 again? That was for the wine. But we're going to put all this... Yeah, all these are going to become wine. Okay. Now we need... Was it 100 stones? Some fiber? Stones. Fiber. What else? What else did you need for... Ju fiber, star fruit, stones. That's it. 200 stones. So we can build like three Junimo huts. Easy, easy trait, easy. Let's go. This is exciting. This is fun. Then we can go see Willy, give him the Wrigley Worm, and pop off. Been a pretty hectic week since I lost a fair bit from being sick. Almost fully back to normal though. Happy, happy to hear it. Happy to hear it. Not about, not about the hectic week, obviously, but about the fact that you're almost back to normal. A lot of people have been sick. SG. I, I have to say, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm slightly off as well. Uh, I think you know, it's, it's, it's. It's pretty common. It's people. We are, we we've talked about this, but people getting back together, right? Pe like a lot of social activity, a lot of social interaction after years of isolation uh, can have that effect. So our our immune system was wasn't was is being hit harder than than it has been in in, in the past, and so uh, I guess it's we just need to carry on, right? And 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 get there. But I'm happy to know that you're uh, ha happy to hear that you're getting better. So this is the territory they cover. Are if I put one here, I probably I probably need more. Yeah, I probably need more actually. We need like six. Everyone, yeah, we need six. Okay. Let's just build. Let's build as many as we can outside. 
build. I don't I don't know if we can build six. We can probably build five, I think, right now. And we're, we're just going to build them and then move them afterwards. So they're going to be built. Oh my god, look at this. Can I? Yeah. Oh, you can build it here. Perfect. Oh, but they're not they're not going to be able to exit. They're going to be stuck. Okay, that's 4. Can I can I get 5? No more stones. Okay. But how many star fruit? Oh, that's perfect. We needed we needed to save some some star fruit for the wine for the uh, the event. So we're gonna go with this for now. We're gonna move move the the scarecrows, move everything aside, get it a little bit more comfy, and uh, be ready to go. Welcome back, buddy tech. Thank you for the reminder, buddy. Thank you for the water, the cozy life. I wish that there was a way to just move your stuff. Oh, Willy. Let's go see Willy. Let's give him the Wrigley Worm. I mean, we'll see him next time we go for the boat, I guess. Is he here? No, we'll see him. We'll see him. I mean, there's no rush in giving him the Worm. And we'll see him soon enough. We should probably go make some kegs. It's true. I heard you convinced the Junimos to move in. I had to see it for myself. I'm, I appear before you as a mighty initial configuration wizard. Tamer of the Arcane. There are a few things you need to know about the Junimos. Oh, yeah? Please. What did they do, buddy? Well, very first, the Junimos have many abilities. Animal, vegetable, and mineral. But they need items, which they will request from you to perform each abilities. You only need to supply the Junimo once. Then the Junimo can perform the ability forever. Or I suppose I could just summon all the items they'll ever need right now. I'll quest for anything. Let's let's do the quest. It's gonna be fun. We could ask him to do it right away, but I think that's more fun. The Junimos need will take you on many adventures. The Junimos need to be paid for their hard work. Each day you need to give them a fruit, a flower, or a forage item, and they'll get to work. But there is another way. I could cast a spell to work for free. Ah. Uh... What should we do, guys? Should we? Do that spell thing so they work for free? I feel like... I feel like if we don't get them to work for free... It, it'll be it'll be sad if they... If they don't do what needs to be done and they just consume stuff. It, it makes sense to... It makes sense to give them stuff, but I, I'll treat... I'll treat them to something special. I'll treat them to do that special thing. Yeah, let, let's get them to work for free. Hey, Jeppy, how you doing? Happy Saturday. Good to see you, my friend. Oh my gosh, the Wukong is so per- Hey! <laughs> Nico, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you, yeah. This is the logo of the channel. I'm happy I'm happy you enjoy it. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Let's go. Let's go, Nico. <laughs> hey, that's my partner. Oh yeah, perfect. They're all Wukong. I'm in heaven. There you go. Welcome. Good to see you, Nico. Welcome. Jeppy and Nico. Any any friend of Jeppy is welcome here as well. Enjoy. Enjoy the beautiful emotes. You get you got I think five included with the uh the follow, so. Have a good time with them. I should teach you how to communicate with the Junimos. They're a box outside in the hut. Put in seeds, fertilizer, wage, and items they request. Take out the crops for which they harvest. There's also a note in the hut that tells you if they're working and what they need. Read if you're confused about what you're doing. No, we're not. We're never confused. We're not that old yet, are we? The Junimos can enter your greenhouse if it's within the walking distance of their hut. They will not travel farther than that. Oh, does that count for Grandpa Shed too? So they can go inside the greenhouse. You can change the working arrangement at any time. It's very flexible. Shall I know? Yeah. Show me all the options. No, I can look at the option later. I have many other things to do anyway. Good day. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're a busy man, right? I may return periodically to study the Junimos and learn more about their ways. Rest assured, though, your feeble mortal eyes will be unable to see me. Okay, Mr. I hide in bushes. Thanks, man. I was just telling her how nice you are. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Jeffy. I'm happy, happy that it's, uh, it's, it's, it's something that's enjoyable for the whole family. <laughs> that's the goal too. That's always been, it's actually always been the goal. We've always, uh, this, this, and, and it's not uncommon for us to, 
uh, tell people that just join the channel, you know, sorry, bud, that's not exactly the, the vibe we're going for. And that's please, you know, mellow tone, tone it down a little bit. And some people don't, you know, we lose people that way. And that's, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, we want people to come here, you know, people have their stressful day, people feel, you know, they have pressure, we, we just want people to come here, chill, enjoy, you know, laugh, s smile, be happy together. And that's, that's the main goal at the end of the day. So I'm happy that you guys feel that way as well. And welcome to both of you. Very, very nice to, to meet to meet you as well, Nico. Hi, all. Hey, Hots, how you doing? Happy, happy Saturday to you as well, my friend. Good to see you, buddy. Now we're looking to... We have a special quest for Olivia. We just need to get some uh, star fruit wine. We have 11 days. It usually takes seven. But right now we were trying to make uh, some uh, extra few casks here. Uh, 19. I guess we could bring 19. Let's bring 19 casks over. Uh, get all this. What's What do you need for, again? Iron and copper as well. Okay, so 19 copper. And 19... And, and a lot of wood, I guess. Yeah, just get a lot of wood. And then we're going to go take care of that. So, that. so that one's taken care of. Let's go here. Pop that one in. And uh, let's go. Let's go on a horse. We're going to go... It's going to be very quick. We're just going to hit the quarry. Uh, we're going to have to put the kegs... We're going to do a little bit of a tricky thing here. So, I'm going to go to the quarry. Kegs that touch... Everything that's connected to the chest and that touches will be... will use this, this the mod called Automate, right? But what we don't want is... In the chest, there's cranberries. What happens is... If we put the chest or the new kegs right beside here, they're going to be touching and they're going to connect and they're going to go grab a cranberry in the chest. We don't want that. We want to put star fruit in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to be, but we want at the end for them to be connected. So we're going to put them just one, one further, one, one block further. And by doing that, we're, the chest, the, the cast isn't going to be connected to anything. And that's going to allow us to put whatever we want inside. And once that's completed, then we the last one we can connect. So we're going to do something. It's going to feel a little bit weird, but trust us, it's going to work. So we're doing something. So slightly beside, right? As you can see, we're right there. And at the end, we're going to connect them. So here, all we want to do is uh, eight. Okay. Wait, wait, no, they're, they're, oh, no, 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 You guys got to calm yourself. Okay, this one's okay, I think. The other ones weren't, though. Okay, here. And then we need to keep one. I mean, it could be two. So we're going to put some star fruits in it. We need, we need star fruit wine for a quest. So we're going to put some star fruits in it. And now we're going to put some, here you go. There you go. And now with the two extra we have, we're going to... You see this one here has nothing in it, right? There's one right here b below where I'm standing. It's not shaking. It's not, There's nothing in it. But as soon as we connect it with the other ones, it's going to start It's going to start to pop off. It got connected to the chest and it pulled cranberry from this chest here. And as soon as the wine's ready, it's going to send the wine back in it. So this is cranberries and strawberries and and we're getting low actually we need to start putting more stuff in this one this chest we need to start making sure that this one gets some stuff in it uh 123 you want the more expensive it's base base price strawberry is better than cranberry no way strawberry is, would be is worth more than oh we're gonna bring some next harvest we're gonna bring tons of strawberry strawberry wine is gonna be more expensive than i wouldn't i would never have thought of that okay let's go back job's done here what we wanted to do is complete it. So now let's get back. Let's get back onto our base farm. Uh, we need to move the Junimo huts. So Junimo huts need to be moved. We're. I want to. I want to get them to have. I need more. We need definitely more. Uh, here we can plant some ancient seeds and some star fruits. To move the Junimo huts, we simply have to. How about the? We have what four? I think at the moment. So let's move this guy up here. And that flame is probably fine. Same thing here. We have to create some space. Yep. Do the same thing here again. Move the scarecrow up. Oh, I think I... Does it cover though? 
Are they covering everything? All the tiles? Let's confirm that first. Yeah, they... Oh, no, look at the bottom. There's one... He needs to... There's one tile in the corner that's not covered. Oh, boy, boy. I need to go down here. I need to put this guy down. But then the hut... The Junimo's not gonna... Oh, yeah. And then corner, I guess? Give me a second. Yeah, here. Here, everything would be covered. Okay. And then we need to... Then the Junimo move these, and then the, the hut's gonna be up. Okay. Let's do the same thing here. Uh, no, we don't necessarily need to because of the, the crow here. Let's move this one. Uh, where did, oh, there you go. I was looking, I couldn't find the raccoon. Everything's covered, so let's put him in the corner here. Okay, and then we'll put the Junimo hut a little bit above. Nice horn. I love it. I love it. That was nifty. Thank you, Nick. I love the horn. Thank you, Jeppy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely love the vibes. Very happy to meet you, friend. Ooh, ooh. Hey, good to see you, Nico. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the family. Good to good to meet you. Great vibe as well. Very love your joy. Love your your enthusiasm. It, it it feels great. Feels great to have, you know, positivity and and uh high energy and smiles. That that's what we're all about. So hopefully you'll feel at home here. That's the whole goal. Sorry I missed. Why do, why do you want to stop to connect them? Why don't you want to? Why don't you... Oh, Laj. Ah, for the quest. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. We were looking for... I, I need it. We needed a few... Um, yeah, you got it. I don't need to... I don't think... Yeah. I could re-explain. I'd be happy to. But I think... I Like you you said, you got it. So I'm going to assume that uh, there is no need there. Let's put... I think we can... The Junimo Hut probably covers the top part as well. So let's let's put the, the Scarecrow on the higher part. Let's put it here. And put some flames here and here. And then we'll put the hut at the bottom part. So we have one. Two. We'll put the hut here as well. Uh, we'll put the hut here. Three. And four. We'll put one here as well. So let's move this one. And then we're going to go see the wizard. And incorp first two solar essence can work in the evening. What? They're going to ask that every day? Or you gotta just put it in, and there it's always valid. That was weird, though. Let's put it on. Let's put it on top here. Let's drop this scarecrow here. Oh, there's. It's not. Yeah, I need to put it here to, for to cover everything. It should be fine. Wait, no. Let's let's grab this one here. Pop, pop it up. Okay, I think this this should be good. Okay, let's go see the wizard. And let's move the huts. We need we need to get more as soon as possible. We also have some... Let's go to our seed maker and grab what we can. In the seed maker, we're going to have a few um, star fruits. A few ancient seeds. Nine and thirty. That's perfect. We're happy to see those numbers. Those are, those are fun numbers. Uh, nothing else really needs to be there for now. We can drop truffles in. Get the truffle oil. Put that for sale. We're going to need to clean up soon. We just want to install the Junimos. In the best case scenario, we'd get two more, but we're going to need a little bit more star fruits for that to happen. Uh, probably within a week, we should get enough star fruit. And uh, and by the time we get those star fruits and we get enough, we probably need at least, I'm thinking, four more Junimos. Because we want to put one by the shed. So, one by Grandpa's shed. Hopefully, they go inside and care for the... Um, for the... Uh, the greenhouse that's in there why did we come here why did we oh to move yeah just to move the junimo huts yeah, there you go move building there you go easy okay let's go choose a location this this one goes here okay there you go cool This one's better though. This one covers. It covers a lot more. That's probably best. Yeah, it's like only have this zone and this zone that's not covered. That's probably the best case scenario that I can that I could I could build. 
with four. If I have four and I'm going to put them... Because if I use this one here, it's it's worse, right? Yeah, it's... it's uh, well, it's about the same. And then they're all grouped up. Because there's nothing in the corner. Because it's not a clean square. If it was a clean square, it'd be similar. This, at least... I, I just use the tractor and... I can just tractor and, and, and go in the middle and I know it's done, right? If, if there's nothing in the middle, then there's nothing. Less, even though it's less of, slightly less efficient, it's it's going to be easier for me to compensate. So let's just go with this for now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it like that. And we need... We need we're going to have the star fruits to, comp, to, to, to compensate very soon anyway. We're going to be able to go complete here. Okay, so this is done. Uh, we're going to go... We need to go plant... We need to buy garlic and wheat as well and go back on the island. We need to bring some sprinklers. We need, there's, with the garlic island expansion, there's a lot that needs to be done now. So we're going to have to go consider that. Uh, get more wine production. Get, get the next strawberries in. They said something about two solar essences. Is it something that you just, you just open and you put two solar essences here? And they'll always work evening. So we let's let's test it out. The game had a pop up, and it said that there was there was something about two solar essence to get the Junimos to work at night. So we have let's put s eight, I suppose, or maybe six, and see which one. See if the one that doesn't have it is that how you pay them? Is that you put them? There's a little bag there. Why? Why would? Why was that one? Although they're okay. So the the little bag appears after you put solar essences. Is that? It's either it either means there's something there or it means. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. So we need two more for the middle part, and we need at least two more for the uh, greenhouses. We have two greenhouses, so let's let's cover that part. Let's get that get that up and running uh ancient seeds as soon as possible so priority to ancient seeds here and then everything else can be star fruits uh okay this is good nothing's crazy here nothing out of the ordinary everything is standard we could go plant we could is our horse yeah let's go let's go horsey we got 19, 19 seeds, and I know there's still some spots uh, in the other greenhouse that needs to be star fruited. So right now we're we're a little bit low on star fruit. We uh, we don't we haven't kept up pace yet. Soon star fruit will start flowing. We bought uh, over a hundred though, but it's gonna cost us a lot of star fruits just to get the uh, the basis. Best case scenario would be making star fruit wine, right? Everybody knows that that's very high value. So right now we're just trying to cover cover what we can it's not great it's not perfect but it, it'll do for now and it's better than than uh than what it was previously and we're gonna go to bed on this note casks are on the way soon as well strawberries are gonna become wine i i for some reason i thought i thought cranberries would be better cranberries are, are not are not really good wine it's base base uh price of fruit and you multiply it, right and strawberries are are worth more than cranberries I, I didn't I didn't see that coming. I didn't I didn't expect that. We missed Pam's birthday. Oh my god, we missed Pam's birthday. Who's this guy? Does the ancient seed die in winter? So you need like six Yeah, yeah, Laj. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So what you can do is if you wanted so that this is what we're gonna be doing for year three. So in year three, we're gonna plant 600 ancient seeds on, or 800 by whatever, whatever it takes here. We had we had a farm where we had like I think it was the base farm, and it was we we had the maximum amount of of. Uh, I'll show you, I'll show you our other farm, man. And uh, and in winter they'll all die if they're inside a greenhouse or if they're on Ginger Island, they don't die. So they go they go they go forever. And so you, the first month, and it's still worth it because the fr you spend one month for them to grow and then they'll give you an ancient seed every week for two months, for two full seasons, right? So, and then you get great value out of that and then you make wine out of it and it's amazing. It's, it, was, it was insane, insane money. 
You probably you probably remember it though, lads, right? You probably remember our, our old farm. Now Jenny Mills can work in the evening. For three star fruit, can train more helpers. Oh, uh, so you need to give them every time. So we miss Pam. Not a big deal. Not a bachelor. We want to make sure they hit Shane though. So uh, let's pop off. Clear and sunny. Beautiful and sunny on Fern Island. Good humor today. Okay. Uh, we probably want to make Ruby and... Where is it? Ruby and Jade Crystallarium. Diamonds aren't going... Diamonds? Maybe we need even more diamonds. Gold bar, radium bar, battery pack, stones. Okay, let's go check. Are they popping off? Are they... Yeah, they are grabbing. Look at these guys go. Oh, Judy Mose. They need three. For the price of three. Oh, look at him go. Isn't it fun? You don't even need to care about your field anymore. They just pick up automatically. Judy Mose are the future. We need we need star fruit now. Okay, we need more star fruit. Uh, cabbage here, sure. Allows us to plant. Start. Where, where did the Oh, we got all the seeds in? Okay. Mm, 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 mm. They're they're so nice, man. I love I love Junimos. Okay, get that in. Miss Pam's birthday. It is what it is. The good news is Pam is not a single candidate. I mean, year two, I'm really trying to I'm really trying to not forget any birthdays. That if you that makes that you get you get enough there's such a big bonus for one star fruit. The Dynamo can visit the green. Is that an everyday thing? Do you need to pay that every day? Or is that... Is that fixed? Feels weird. Feels weird. I don't know. The Junimo price? Nothing here. Okay, we're good. Hey, Woonie, welcome back. What's up? What's up with the wound? We got the Junimo's wound. We just need a few more star fruits to be able to pop off. Now, we've just got to clear our inventory here. Clear it. This is. Get everything and empty everything here. Milled rice and beets need to go. Oh yeah, yeah, in the in the place we need to sell this. Sell the truffle oil. Keep these guys. Uh, sell this. Coal goes here. Set. We need to set. We have no more silver. No, we need. Yeah, yeah. Thirty six. That's 150, so about 75 of each. So all this and about 75 here. And then make some bars for both. Pop, pop. We need to bring those seven bars as they are already... Oh, wait. Gold bars. Okay, not bronze. Gold bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then... There you go, and then make seven of these guys. I mean, or should we do this? Maybe we should do the big ones for the island. Yeah, let's do the big ones. Let's do the big ones. So gold, this, and battery, right? Is that it? Gold. Yeah, let's just do the big ones. Battery pack. We got plenty of battery packs. Or they're here? Yeah, they're here. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Let's... The island should be luxurious. 
Okay, we need to go give this to Willy. Uh, turn in the torches. Put them here. Uh, salmon berries, sure. Oh, we need to go to the desert to get some triple espresso. We're getting low on the triple espresso. We need diamonds. Okay, so let's get... We need more We need more crystal arums. Uh, stone, gold, five gold. So let's go make two more. Two, ten gold. No, ten gold. Ah, uh, fifteen. Six, I think. Is that five, two? Five, two. Stones and battery. Stones and battery. Okay, three crystal arums. Two will be... Two of those... Will be uh, for diamonds. And then the third one will be... Uh, ruby or... Jade. Ruby, I guess? Maybe we'll make another one. Just, just to be safe. Let's make another one. Okay, then we'll do one of each. So we'll do... We'll do two for diamonds, one for one more for ruby, one more for jade. Okay, uh, so one for, one for jade here, one for ruby here, diamond, diamond. Okay. Poor little Woonie, she's thirsty. Here you go, Woonie. Just on my phone, waiting for my dad, and yeah, baby Judy was awesome. Your strawberry farm is very satisfying to look at. Thank you, Jeppy. You should... I should... I should... Sh this is... This is uh, in the making, right? This is like... Uh, this part... The portion here... Is... Uh, is something... It's a pro... Like it's... We're trying to push ancient seeds and star food at the same time as fast as we can. So that's why it's not the greatest look. We have a few empty slots here because we didn't have enough um, zappers here to hold big lightning storms so when once they're all collecting lightning if there's more lightning coming up it could hit your farm so you see we got a we have a few holes uh because we didn't have enough uh lightning rods to hold lightning and to protect the farm we are missing a spot here but uh by jude everything should be all all fixed we should have plenty of junimos uh we should fill in the slots with junimos for the next season we're we're hoping for summer to have and and we're pretty much guaranteed to have Junimos in all slots here. Uh, get We're going to get like blueberries or star food. Everything is going to be packed up in every corner here. Uh, probably even the top line here. We're going to fill up the top line as well where the chests are. Remove the chests. Put them in the storage. Get everything a little bit cleaner. Uh, looks nicer. Move the tractor a little bit aside. Move the tree. We don't need the tappers here anymore. So we could even extend to this part. We could even extend the farm all this here. We can actually, we can actually break this and, and make this into harvestable land. So we could, we could eat all this here to the left. All this part here could be expanded as well in the summer. Cut, cut down these trees, move them, move them elsewhere and have this big zone to be our harvestable zone. Uh, that's, that's the plan for, uh, for the next season as well. But thank you. Fruit trees, uh, we could do fruit trees on the outside. I tend to do fruit trees on the inside, but uh, there's nothing wrong with the outside, actually. Yeah, maybe I'll do out. I'll just do outside. I think I'll I'll buy them again and I'll because if they're the thing is they only grow. Oh look at the, the duck goes in the water. I never knew. This is the first time I see it. I never knew the duck goes into the water if, if he has access to. It. That's so nice. Do you guys knew? Did you get ever see a duck go in the water? Who's this little explorer? Oh look at this little guy. <laughs> I never knew. I never knew Doug going... Yeah, inside the greenhouse on the side, that's what we're gonna do, Winnie, too. We've got tons of cheese here, that's perfect. We're gonna wait. We know in the reception it's gonna be necessary. I think we're probably popping a dino here. Still not... Wow, the dinos are... They're playing hard to get. Now we got, we got our dinos. We can probably hug everything close by here. Let me just pop this here. Put it here and then put everything in the chest. Everything should be connected and working. There you go. We could keep the two dino eggs like, in case we need it. I don't know. Not for now. Let's, leave, let's just leave them like that. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. We were putting them aside to have a little bit extra dinos, but I think, I think we got them. 
four dino eggs here. We can keep like two. Let's keep two dino eggs on the site. Let's keep two dino eggs. Now that we're getting everything that we need, let's put two dino eggs here and then save the extra ones. We're going to keep two so that if ever we want to relaunch some new dinos, uh, it'll be quick and efficient. So we'll store these somewhere uh, away. We're starting to get some rabbit foot. That's nice. Rabbit foot are obviously really nice to have. Keeping the production going. Hide some dino eggs. Uh, which, where's a good spot to hide dino eggs? We need to clean up the, the, the chest. We need to do a little bit of a decoration. Make things look slightly nicer than they are right now. This could go in the mill. I wonder what beet does. Uh, truffle, everything. Yeah, let's just clean up a little bit here. Put the truffle on the side. We need to go to Ginger Island and, and start launching the second farm too. Get this here. Two of these guys, sure. Not great, but you know, better than nothing. Yeah. And then Junimos, we have we have a mod for better Junimos, Woonie, and Junimos can go inside the greenhouse if it's in range. So if we put trees inside the greenhouse, the Junimos should go and collect the should go collect from it. And so putting the trees on the on the inside makes a lot of sense specifically. What? Okay. Especially with, with, with this mod. So let's go see Pierre and buy buy all the trees and replant. We had planted them in the in the first greenhouse. We had planted them in the first greenhouse, but it's uh it took a little bit of time to move it outside. Tab, thank you, Tab. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah, we're uh this is beginning of year two. We spent a we are we we like to be efficient, so we worked really hard on year one to get as far as we can, and I think we're uh, we're in a good spot right now. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's hilarious, Olivia. I've had similar experience with Vincent. Moments like this with Victor are a treasure. Abigail used to do that too. Imagine if you know this is what parenthood is like. Oh, Olivia. Hi, Num. Hello, Num. Beautiful day, isn't it? Yes. Hello, dear. Wonderful to see you. Oh, ah, yes. This is. What's up, Olivia? You like my big brain and my my. My dino tail? I heard about the DLC farm on the radio a few days ago. You're making so much progress. Thank you, Caroline. Caroline, are you tab? Are you in the chat right now? Oh yes, you are. Num, you've helped our little community to grow. No problem, Judy. <laughs> Vineyards are quite profitable in this region. I heard rumors about how much Sophia makes each quarter. They're not rumors. We know about this. How much is it? It could be a million every week. With nine sheds full of kegs? It's over six figures. Of course. I make that every time I sell strawberries. Have you considered turning DLC form into a vineyard like Blue Moon? I've already done it. We're already... Olivia, way ahead of you, Olivia. Way ahead. We've been doing this... We've, getting, we've been doing kegs since summer of year one. <laughs> what should I say? I'm already making wine. Wine production isn't the path I want to go down. I'm not at the level where I can make large amount of wine yet. I guess this is partially true, especially if we compare it to our five-year farm where we're making, you know, ancient nine sheds full of kegs for ancient wine every week. But let's just go with this one. Let's just let's just stay positive. It's pretty recent that I know that you can plant tree inside greenhouse. I also did not know for the Junimos. They, they can't on the regular game. You need the mod, Woonie. On the regular game, they won't be able to. I wasn't aware you were making wine numb. I'll speak with Mary Lewis about purchasing several bottles from your shipment. Of course. She already has an order for 10 starfruit wine coming. Pierre loves getting shipment of the crops. He says the rival, the quality of his... Yeah, Pierre is caca. I wish Susan sold her crops locally. She ships her products out of the valley. She once let me purchase one of her fresh melons. It was so delicious. Okay. I'm just relieved Pierre is gonna die in the next mod that we install. I believe his crops are shipped to low-income villages. I've been playing Stardew and I've made a bit of progress, but I'm not too fond on going mining. I'm in year two. Tab, mining is is very it's it's I'm I'm lucky because I enjoy mining. I enjoy going into the the mine and in the skull cavern and in the in the in the volcano cavern. The, these are moments that I enjoy, and there's a lot of benefits from going in that zone. So, not much. I mean, I can only I can only suggest to try a little bit more going there because there's a. There's great, great uh, uh, rewards or resources that you can get in the mind that you can't really get elsewhere, so. You can always, you know, 
That's not partially true. It's just gonna take more time because you can always buy the ore. You could always just buy everything from Clint, right? Make a lot of money and then buy golden ore, silver ore, copper ore from Clint, and to get what you where you need. But when you're efficient with it, when you're when you're efficient at go exploring and spelunking in the mines, it's it's great rewards though. Pierre would only allow Andy proofs in the store if it was grown specifically as grown. Didn't, Andy didn't like it. Gotcha. I recently reached level 15, which at this point is kind of sad. It, I don't think it is, Tab. Everyone, it's, it's, this is a beautiful sandbox game. People play at their own rhythm. People explore the game at, at, based on what they want to enjoy. And, and it's, there's nothing sad about starting out. There's, it's a single player game. You play for your own experience and you have a good time. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Well, this conversation, well, not this one, but I'm just reading what's happening in the game. <laughs> We're going back to chatting about parenthood. Nice seeing you, Num. Bye, Num. Hey, bye, bye. Bye, ladies. I'll big, I'll, I'll get my big brain and my lizard tail somewhere else now. As I said before, you can't ignore. You listen to me. What incarnation is that supposed to mean? Don't come telling me I owe more. I'm doing just fine with Fairhaven. Don't you go telling me this is bad news. It's out of my hands. The Ferngill government adjust. I'm not hearing any of this. This will ruin me. You hear me? Oh, boy, boy. I can help you, buddy. I thought this valley supported local farmers. The mayor of Grampleton isn't happy with this either. I'm in no way trying to... No, the answer is no, Lewis. I can barely afford my seeds for new harvest. I can't afford this at all. Andy, just use a seed maker, buddy. Seed maker is love, seed maker is life. Everything will be okay. I'm going to divert funds from the fats. I don't need no one's help. I don't accept handouts. I'll figure something. He said he wants... He said he the valley supports local farmers, but then he doesn't want handouts. It's What's the difference? Andy. This conversation is over. I'm leaving. That's not nice. You don't need to yell and make a public scene, buddy. Andy, man. Come on, buddy. Is this... It is, Skelly. Yeah. Yeah, Skelly Cat. We, uh, this is our third time playing the game. Our first playthrough, we... The first two playthroughs were completely vanilla. No mods at all. Uh, we we had a one a five year playthrough where we 100% the game everything included there's a, a a meter with master key on Ginger Island and we got the 100% uh, achievement we also had a second playthrough where we played with once again vanilla no mods and we get we did a two year challenge where we had a lot of uh, hard stuff that we couldn't do so we couldn't do anything that was successful so uh, anything that was was really really good in the first year we weren't allowed to do it it was like a hard mode that we imposed on ourselves. And now a third playthrough, which is this one right here, we added some mods, uh, specifically Stardew Valley Expanded, which is what you're seeing right here with Andy. New characters, new zones, new location, uh, more stuff to do. So we're uh, exploring the, this mod. We added a few others, which are just slight quality of life, like one that you can see NPC locations on the map at all times. So whenever you someone's birthday and you want to go give them a gift, you can know exactly their, where they are. There's a few things like that that we added. Uh, but yeah, this is a modded playthrough, Scally. And thank you, Tab. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the family, my friend. Good to have you on board. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Let's go. <laughs> welcome. Good to have you on board. Welcome, welcome. You've heard all of that, didn't you? I did. I did. And I'm not... It wasn't a great conversation. Not your fault, though, Lewis. The Ferngill government is an interesting new regulation. I don't think they understand the negative impacts it's having on small communities like this one. I've tried negotiating, but they wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> I'm aware Andy is struggling and he isn't doing well financially. I can, I can, I can help it. I can help, buddy. Rest assured, Num, Kendra and I are drafting an elaborate... Who's Kendra? The mayor of the other town? Can you do me a favor and check on Andy? I'll go check on him. Thank you, Num. This is most appreciated. I'm going to start on that draft now. Have a nice day. Okay. This was a long cutscene. Another one? Oh my, can we play the game? <laughs> I mean, those are great though. I, lo I love those, especially new ones. Especially new cutscene, they feel great, so. Nothing wrong here. 
Hello there. I'm finishing up an Iridium-infused sword for the Monster Hunter from Castle Village. You might have heard of him. He goes by the name Scyther. Iridium-infused swords. Clint, you never told me you, you can make those? It's home to the, be the beast, monster slayer, and artisan in the world. New weapons, eh, Clint? It's not much, but it's honest work. Nice meme there. Right now, I'm not getting any orders from the Adventurer Guild here in Stardew Valley. When there's... When there were no more members, there was a steady demand for new weapons. People died, Clint. I saw the gravestones, buddy. The guild used to be a lot bigger, but they've lost a lot of good people over the years. The summit has gotten crowded. Sorry, Num. I didn't mean to bring that up, especially with you being a guild member at all. What should I say? We all expected the risk. I didn't know any of them. I visited the grave and paid my respects. Yeah, sure. I've hiked up there myself. Some of those adventurers had quite the kill count on their tomb soon. They were fine people. Yes, they were. You've made excellent strides in protecting the valley from monsters while also building up an impressive farm. I envy that. I'm not brave enough to fight monsters, but I do what I can to ensure the safety of those who do. That's why I pride myself on my smithing work. You okay, Clint? I know I'm a bit awkward sometimes, but thanks for stopping by. I need to get back to finishing this sword. I'll see you next time you drop by or maybe at the saloon. Okay. Friendship interaction, I guess, with Clint. Okay, we can control our character. Nice. I guess we haven't visited the town in, in a few days. We need to go see Pierre, buy some trees. Um, buy garlic and hay and, and wheat if he sells it. Uh, do you sell garlic? N garlic, perfect. Do you sell wheat? You don't. Wheat flour. Hmm. I mean, summer's gonna, it's, he's gonna sell it in the summer, though. So it's not that big of a deal. Buy the trees, one of each. Okay, got him. I'm gonna plant these guys. I don't need to, I know you can buy more. I know you can buy more and you can uh, expand on it, but I, I don't, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in uh, maximizing, mid-maxing the trees. I just want them so that they age over time. And they feel good. Uh, we have Shane's birthday tomorrow. Garlic is important here. We need... Garlic is going to be great. Put that on. Uh, we still need to find... Uh, I think we put all the wheat inside the mill, though. I don't think we have any more wheat uh, grain. We're going to have to wait. Maybe they sell it at Joja? I don't think so. Let's go double check, though. I... I don't think Jojo will sell it, but we can always give it a... Terminate it. Oh, no, they're not going to sell it. <laughs> they're not going to sell it at Jojo. Okay, well, for now, that's it. Let's go plant these. Um, board no quests. Willy... Is Willy at the beach? He's not. Oh, yeah, he is. No, he is. Let's go give him the Wiggly Worm. We have the Wiggly Worm from the Ginger Island quest. Let's go pop off and give him the worm. See what happens there. Might as well grab these. Wiggly worm, my friend. Hey, Willis. What's up, bud? That's the perfect bait for a catfish I've been trying to catch. Here, let me trade you this. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, but it washed on the beach a long time ago. Something tells me you could use it. There you go. Got him. This is what you got to bring back to the lady. Let's buy 25,000. We're getting a little bit poor here. Uh, we can buy, I mean, we obviously got to buy some bait. Let's get, let's get. The bigger the amount, the more we can forget about it. So, it's not going to make that big of a difference. We have two spots. Let's do another one here. There's two spots that we need to put these baits in. Will you do a 24-hour play? Hey. Hey, Pony Tech. Seems that way, right? I mean, Stardew is the type of game we... Stardew is the type of game that it's always... You always tell yourself, oh, just one more day. And then you finish that day and you're like, oh, but now you unlock this and this and that. How about just one more day as well? Just to go check out the new thing you unlocked. And then after you've done that, then one more day as well. And then maybe one another day. And then one more. We got... 
I we need to bring a recycling machine here so that I can I can recycle them at the same time now these things yeah bring get the 272 put that in the fishing rod and then go drop this one by the mountain you know you know that right tab tab it tab also knows about the just one more day <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, just this day and then that's... Oh, tomorrow's someone's birthday. Oh, we got lucky. It's a lucky day. Oh, our crop is ready. Oh, right. I want to... Oh, a cutscene. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, you know, and then... Oh, in, in three days, it's the end of the season. Oh, I just want to launch this season. Oh, I, I just want to put a few Junimos here. No, and, and then... And then the game happens, so... So, yeah. The... I think... As much as I'm not, by definition, a 24-hour streamer, I think the first game that I could 24-hour is probably Stardew for that reason. <laughs> Stardew will be my the first 24-hour game we play. I said it. Okay, here we go. Now we got the, we gonna we'll plant these guys. Uh, okay, a few things need to happen here. Okay, this is good. Oh no! Wait! 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 Did, did the bait go here? No, no, no. Bait needs to come in the pocket. Okay. Bait goes here. And then this will go in the mountain. We need to go in the mountain and go check on those guys. Plant the tree here. So tree... The trees will be... Yeah, this is good, right? And then one... One... Two... Let's do... We could... We could... How many do we have? Three per side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... One, two, three, I guess. And then one, two, three. And then you have three. Yeah, that's that's good. I don't need it to be perfect. I just... Oh, no, that's two now. Uh, that's that's fine. That's fine. And then same thing on the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then... Yeah, it'll work here. No, no, this. So they're aligned with the other guys. I don't need them to be perfect. I just want... I just want them to exist. Oh, they're not aligned at all. Oh, it's so ugly now. Oh, my life is ruined. Oh, the cosmetic of this place is... Ah, oh, it's unbearable. I should start over. <laughs> um, let's go drop... Yeah, yeah, okay. Drop these guys in. Nothing is aligned anymore. Four rows of inventory. Yeah, yes, Kelly. Like that's a mod as well. You can do exclamation mark SDV mod, and it'll show you the list of all the mods we got. We got a few one for convenience, right? So as you can see, we got one for NPC locations at all times. We have one for uh, a fourth row of items, a fourth bag, which costed fifty. 000. Like it's it's Pierre. It's it's not just given. You need to buy it. Pierre will sell it for a bigger price than the previous one. So it's like. It allows more space in inventory because otherwise I was always low on space and even now I still sometimes throw objects so uh, We got one that is cuter farm animals. We got one that's automate now automate is a blessing I'll show it to you now. We we only go towards those mods because We have roughly 400 hours in the vanilla game in the base game with no mods at all and because of that as a third playthrough we said, let's let's get a few mods just for convenience. Because we, through those previous 400 hours of playtime in the vanilla games, there was a few things that we're, we're, we feel like mods could just make slightly smoother so we could focus on other things. I'll show them to you in a second. Come stands next to the fire pit. It feels great. Automate is definitely the big one. Automate, you can... It's it's really, really... It's, it's a game changer. I'll show it to you. I was hoping... You, it just saves time. It doesn't make the, it doesn't make the game easier. It doesn't... It just if it's just efficient at saving you time and helping you focus on other tasks. It's and it's it's there's it's a game that has so much to offer. We automate really makes sense for us because in in our previous playthrough, our our five year our farm that, that's on the year five, uh, we had like a sixteen hundred ancient seeds farm with uh, nine sheds, extra large sheds full of kegs, and every week. We'd collect the ancient seeds from 1600, um, uh, from the, the Junimos would collect it, but then we'd have to do nine sheds and, and zigzag with, with ancient fruits to make wine and collect wine. And it was just tedious. It would cost us a full day. It would cost us a full day to do that. And 
Uh, and then every week, one uh, one out of seven days, every week we were, were just spent making wine and zigzagging. So a mod that makes that automatic so we don't need to waste that day or spend that day repeating the same task over and over again and still get the profit and, and the benefits from the wine makes a lot of sense. So it's, it's, a, it's a mod that allows you put something in a chest and everything that's touching that chest, that's physically touching, will be any artisan product that can be used from items within the chest will be produced and and recovered, and then new one produce produce. And as long as there's stuff in the chest, as long as there are proper materials, it'll chain it'll chain production from it. And it's it's amazing. You can do so many things with it, and you can just you don't have to use it. But I I like I really enjoy it. Most people don't treat me well, so I've learned to be cautious. I'm sorry, Linus. You're a friend. But you've become uncommonly nice to me. You're a unique person. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And I consider you a good friend. I consider you a good friend, Linus. Now, take off your shirt and let's go in the water. Let's jump in the lake. I know you want to, Linus. We, I saw the cutscene. I want to show you something. Come inside. Ooh, he heard about the apricot, eh? I have never had the situation of one more day. No way, Puddy Jack. I remember my first time playing Stardew Valley. I bought some turnip seeds on the 25th of spring in hopes to barely... Yeah. Oh, it, tab, it happens to all of us. Not not planting properly seeds and and buying and planting something and then not and then they don't have time to grow fully before the sweet, the season switch and you lose it. It happens to it, it has happened to everybody for sure. For sure. What I like about the mod is that they were very easy and self. Absolutely, right? I don't play it on PC, so I'll just admire all the mods. Sounds good, Skelly. Num, do you have the track? I do, Tab. I just installed it. I, we tried it like an hour ago for the first time. It was also a game changer. I mean, the thing is, it arrives at the same time Junimo arrives. So we're, we're, we've just, we're crafting Junimo huts, and they basically do the same thing. So the tractor isn't really big. I wish we had it earlier. Now, maybe next time, if we play again, we'll install the tractor. Because we like to have big farms with a lot of crops that uh, harvest often. Like blueberries, cranberries, strawberries. I think those are really, really good, and they're great money makers. So, and they, they require you to click on huge fields every four, four or five days-ish. And so, uh, Tractor really, really saves a lot of time for that. It's top, I'd like to, yeah, here I want to make. So, but we just, we still made it. Now that we have Juni modes, it's not really, no, it doesn't, the Tractor doesn't really have any, a lot of value because the Juni modes will do it as well, automatically. But it's still, we're still happy. All in all, we're still happy with it. So here we have automatically producing worms. The worms go inside the chest automatically. But we're going to add a little bit. Now the chest will automatically feed worms to the traps that are touching. You have to you have to know that this is this is considered touching. <laughs> it's 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 in, uh, in and then whenever the trap is ready to harvest, it the chest will harvest the trap and put back a new worm inside of it. So you just it, these things are filling up by themselves. I don't even need to do anything. Everything here is automatic. Everything here, I, I can come back in a month and it'll be full of stuff and I can forget about it and not, 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 and that for me is, is really, really nice. I appreciate this quality of life because I, I'm someone who likes to be, feel efficient and automate stuff and it was hard to, uh, get that properly because I, there's so many things you can craft and, and, and put in the game, but you're not going to be able to optimize them all because you can, you can't split yourself and if you do that, then at some point you're gonna you're not gonna be able to explore caves or explore new zones because you're gonna have so much tasked to do on a daily basis, taking care of your animals, making mayonnaise, seed maker. You always have to stay close to your artisan machine to make the next batch. Now you can just forget, put it in the chest, forget about it, go somewhere else. You know, go on with whatever else you want to do. Follow me, numb. Don't stray too far. This is a cutscene day. So many cutscenes today. What's up with that? Mr. Wizard. Mana flows freely in this secluded grove. It's perfect location for your nexus. Our nexus, eh? With our combined magic and my guidance, we can alter the flow of time here. Come channel your mana. I will. I will channel my mana at the mana tree. This feels magical. 
Open your eyes. They were never closed. I'm a wizard now, Harry. Magnificent, isn't it? Your enchanted grove is safeguarded from the changing seasons, weather, and prying eyes. Okay. We're not quite done yet. You still need to create your first warp point. I believe it's only suitable if it's to my own nexus. So this is all Stardew Value expanded. We spent the first year of this playthrough basically installing a, a, a strong farm, or the strongest farm we could within a year. So that in, in the year two, which is what we just started now, we're able to focus on Stardew Valley Expanded, which is new dialogues, new maps, new zones, new items, new NPCs. And this is, we're going to be exploring all of this new mod, which is the best DLC for Stardew that, uh, to, on the market at the moment. Let us depart to my... So this is all the expanded stuff. So sadly not accessible on, uh, on console. Skelly. The, uh, concerned Abe the dev from the game, he said that it's coming to, uh... Uh, phones very soon too. 1.5, the Ginger Island, the last update, st still isn't accessible on phone, but he, he confirms that it should be uh, pretty soon. During the lesson, I explained that in order to connect a location to your Nexus, you need something that comes in. I brewed this potion. It's suitable enough to complete the spell. A wizard potion. Place the potion on the hex and summon your warp runes. Well done. The Roar Room is linked to your Nexus successfully. Why don't you teleport there now? Uh, uh, it'll be a sight to behold. So this... Bring this, the one on the left, teleports us to our Nexus home. Okay. Okay, interesting. Oof. We're a wizard now, Harry. Hey, this is my home. You have permission to come here? Tomes, owls, statues, a hex circle, and the smell the smell of fresh moss. I wouldn't expect anything else. Seek out, out other areas of interest and expand your nexus. In due time, a colleague of mine will pay you a visit. Well done today. I knew there was something special about you the moment you set foot in Stardew Valley. Hmm. I wonder where else I can summon warp runes. This is a new connection. I like your funny words, Magic Matt. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Do berry drops. Do berry drops. Okay, so this this going to teleport me to... Yeah, yeah, to his place. And then from here, you can go to other places, I assume. Oh, okay. Interesting. So you can try... You can go here. And then go to other... This is... I like this. And it's just north of the farm. Like, our base farm is right here. Right here. Did I say right here? I meant right here. This is the, this is our farm. So it's a, it's a, it's another teleport pad. I guess they're going to use it for the new locations as well. I guess it's going to be used for, to bring us to the new areas, the new expansion areas. Okay. Oh, I also have a mod. Any, oh, look at this. Plus two luck, plus two speed. An aromatic enchanting fruit grows in the nexus, grants magical abilities until the next, until the next sunrise. So you use one. Oh, look, this is insane. I was going to say, maybe this is good for new NPCs, but I want to keep these. I want to keep these guys. Two luck and two speed. We run on one luck, one speed all the time. Now we have two luck, two speed, easy to go. Likes. No one loves this. Perfect. Oh, this is this is this is ours. This is amazing. This is the best. This is the best uh, food buff in the game. Wow. Okay. We need to go on Ginger Island soon, though. We need to go. Hopefully, I mean, tomorrow is Shane's birthday, and then I guess maybe we go after that. I was hoping to clean up. Um, I mean, I, we don't need to go, but. Or this one? Yeah, yeah, this one. I was hoping to go 
drop these. Let's go drop the beats. Drop the beats. <laughs> Time to drop the beats. Oh, I see. Guys, look at this. Look at this pizza. Oh my god. Look at this slice. Oh, tomato, peppers, bacon. Oh my god. Mushrooms, pepperoni, tomato sauce. You know what makes this pizza even better? Onions. There is no pineapple on it. Oh my god. A non pineapple pizza? Do you know what that means? Do you have any idea what that means? Is it normal that I have done two in Fall Guys since I came? It came? Yeah, it is. It is pretty tech. <laughs> Less would be shameful. Let's put that in here. Let's see what happens. I've never... Yeah, let's go to bed here. Mm. Okay, let's go. Pop this here. Get the chest. Turn around. Every now and then, I get a little bit anxious. Oh! One o'clock, let's go. If we get star fruits tomorrow... Okay, this is the deal. We go to bed. We'll check our farm. If we have... St if star fruits have... If we have fresh star fruits, and we can buy Junimos with them, we're gonna we're gonna take care of the farm. 